So you lost your virginity to this guy. Yeah, my first love. Is that considered like, are you damaged goods then as a yeah. potential wife and like no one wants to marry you then? Yeah. My dad wanted me to do a surgery to sew my cherry up. To sew your hymen back on? Yeah, Can you do you. that? Yeah, they do it in communities like that. No way. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that was possible. I know, it's outrageous. Uh, they do it in a lot of Muslim communities as well where I'm from in the Muslim villages. So they have a lot of surgeons that actually operate that surgery. And there is a lot of, I don't know if I can say it, but I have to because you have to understand there is a lot of couples that do. So when after they get married, there is blood on the sheets. So they, she was a virgin, but right. she's done it so many times with her boyfriend before. Yeah. So it's like kind of like you only do stuff for the community. You don't even live for yourself, which is, I find it very, very hard to live yeah. life like that. And there are so many Orthodox Jews in not even, I'm not even talking about Jewish people. I'm talking about a lot of communities in like Muslim communities or like Mormon communities, like really strict religious communities yeah. where you don't live your life the way you want to live them. You mm -hmm. live your life the way the community wants you to live it. The rabbi yeah. or the, I don't know, the, the church or whoever tells you what to do. And it's very, very hard to live like that. It's a lot of stress and it's a lot of pretending to be someone you're not and mm -hmm. shutting down your own wants and beliefs and it's horrible.